October the 7th. And you're like, well, we need to have this bigger comic picture we need to look at. And that's the point you're yeah. bringing in, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, the reality is, is that uh, one of the issues of Hamas brought out at the very beginning was settler violence. Now remember, settlers are illegal Israeli citizens living in Palestinian territories, mm -hmm. the West Bank and, and no, no longer in Gaza, but in the West Bank. Many of those settlers are ideological settlers who believe this is our land. God gave it to us and we're taking it back. And they are violent. And they're often protected by the military. In fact, there's actually a group called Breaking the Silence, which are former Israeli Defense Force soldiers who are breaking the silence. Hey, this is what I saw. This is what I experienced when I served as an IDF soldier. And what they have said was those soldiers' job is to protect the settlers. That's, that's their only job. The job is not to police. Their job is not to do anything else. It's to protect the settlers. So if the if Palestinians try to respond back, they are shot by the by the Israeli, or they're imprisoned, or they're detained. So the settlers have never once been found guilty in a Jewish or Israeli court of law. And this Hamas is like this has got to stop. This has to end. Hamas also wanted to have all the detainees. Uh, return. Uh, and these are detainees that have been captured by Israel for what security reasons. They're allowed to be kept in prison for six months without a charge. We talked about this with Jonathan Kutab, who's a, a Palestinian lawyer. Um, well, guess what? The number of detainees before October 7th was about 5,000. There are now 7,000 detainees. Mm -hmm. So we talk about hostage switch, swaps for, for detainees. Well, the number of detainees is going up. If Israel wanted peace, they would stop detaining people mm -hmm. and, and they would do some of these things. So uh, Israel claims that they can't stop bombing Gaza because Hamas wants to destroy them, which is true. I, I'm not de denying that. But I would simply say the method of which they've approached this all along is not working very well. I they've approached this with an occupation, with a heavy hand, with imprisonments, with a military uh, presence. And that military presence has not worked. It's only made more violence. Uh, the, the next thing I would add to that is, is this. If Israel wants peace and has won a peace all along, that's kind of the whole idea. They've won a peace all along. Then why have they continued to build the settlements? The settlement construction has continued to build and it's escalated. The new Israeli government, led by Netanyahu, his coalition is a right-wing extremist pro-settler movement. We probably should have known. I'm, I'm sure people in power, people in, in, in the know, probably did know. Once that government was formed, October 7th was something like it was going to happen mm. uh, because they're confiscating land that doesn't belong to you. You're moving your own people into those settlements.